rolling? Cool. Hey guys, I'm George Shelley and I'm gonna be giving you my top five tips on dealing with grief and how that can affect your mental health. So tip number one is finding that, that one person, whether it be a friend or a family member or a therapist, that you can talk to honestly and openly about your emotion. And by talking, you're sharing experiences and you can get a lot of, a lot of help from that. So tip number two has been massively important for me and I know it helps a lot of people. It's just facing it and it's exercise. Getting, getting to the gym and you know, it could just be going for a walk. It doesn't have to be hardcore exercise, but it really helps you clear your mind. And when you exercise, you're releasing endorphins and your serotonin levels go up and you leave feeling refreshed. And, I, I, I feel like it's been a huge saviour for me. So we've done tip number two, which was physical exercise, but tip number three is brain exercise, and that could be in the form of meditation, breathing, spending some time by yourself. Because when you're going through the grieving process, um, there's a lot of chatter in your head, a lot of clutter. By having that time by yourself just to really come to terms and connect with your emotions, it's so, so, so important. So tip number four is having an outlet, having something that you can channel the pain into because it's so confusing. It can be something like making a scrapbook or having a memory jar. Um, these things really help you understand and come to terms with what's happened. And then tip number five is not being hard on yourself. If you're having a bad day, allow yourself to have a bad day. You're gonna have ups and you're gonna have downs. You'll find a way forward. If you've been affected by any of the things I've spoken about today, you can get support right here and it's great support, so click it.